Hello, let's do a bunch of daily word games. We're going to start with the instant wordle in daily mode this time. Last two days, I accidentally did it in infinite mode. So, okay, booby title. So we got to be careful about O's and B's and not, well, the B especially, we need to be careful not to place it also fourth. So if B is not first or fourth, that's quite limited. And it's not debit for because of title here. Is there another, like... Actually, it's probably B-U-T then, maybe? It's not gamut. We could use a we could use an E or a U. Hmm. What is this word? Could it be something like unbet unbet? <laughs> I don't think so. How about rebut? Do you think rebut is a word? It seems to fit, so if it accepts it, then it's the answer. There we go. It is rebut. That's an interesting word. Alright, figured it out. We will now move on to the daily dortle and start with rebut. Okay, so it has a B in it and ends with T. That's interesting. It's not beast. I think it is better to do uh, a good filler here though than to try to get ourselves into like B, T words like that. So what do I want to do? I think getting some of the common consonants is important here. So I'm, I'm between something like champ, whoops, like champ. I'm between getting, I think there's a few good options here. There's like champ, there's slick, there's, hmm, what else did I think of? Slack, slack is pretty good in terms of fillers just to get letters. Trying to think which ones will be most helpful for these words. I think if we assume this R is second, getting a consonant that can go before R would be nice. So C, P, G, F. I mean, there's a bunch of them. Champ gives us the C and the P. Tells us about the A. Let's give Champ a try. Okay, so it is CR on the right. Let's look at this word now. So B... Could it be B-L-A something T? What would that be? Blant. <laughs> blast? I think blast is pretty likely, and it gives us uh, to test some decent letters also. So let's do that. Nice, it was blast. Okay. And this is C-R something S. There's no H. There's no T. So it's probably double S. It's probably cross. Nice. Blast and cross. I did very well on that one. Okay. So let's now do the chordal. We're going to start with blast and cross. Got to test that S a bunch. All right. Well, this bottom left word actually got quite a bit of information. And we know there's not two S's, which actually could be helpful. I think it's basal or basal or however you say that word. No, it's not. Oh, basal with an I. Yeah. Darn. I should have realized. Maybe not. I think they're equal. I guess getting the I was preferable over getting the A is, is all I'll say there. Um, getting the second A. Let's see, what else did we get? This word is interesting, but it's just the AS getting moved around. We have a T. It can't be trash. It could be stash. No, we tested double S. There aren't two S's. That's actually great. So not 100% sure about that one, actually. I'm interested about this one because it feels like it's some, something R, something L. Like that, it feels like that's the only way. Like the L's not going next to the R, most likely. And the L can't go at the end. So what comes after that L? Maybe an E? I can't think what else it would be. Maybe a D? I think E is better. But what would that be? Because there's no O or I in the word, there's no A in the word. So would it be U-L-E? That doesn't make sense. I may have to do another filler here. Actually, I haven't done a filler yet. Um, this one is just, who knows? What comes before that L? Maybe we should find out. We can do F-L, P-L, G-L. That also helps with the R, finding out what's the first letter of that word. With R, we can do D-R. You can't really do D-L. But can I get these... Can I get these three letters, or at least two of them? I'd like the U and the E. Maybe if I could end in E, that would be excellent. And put a U in there. 
I feel like I'm getting a little bit too specific about what I need. But if I did if I did bugle, then this actually also tests the L where I think it is here. I mean, it, it's probably there anyway. I may not need to test it, but bugle is what I thought of. It uses the U and the E. It uses a B and a G, which could come before both the R or the L. So that's a pretty good filler. I like it. Okay, so we actually learned that there is no U or E in this word. So there's no A, E, I, O, or U. So it only uses Ys. So I think it is something R, Y, L, Y. Dryly. Good to know. All right. This is um, ASE. I was going to say it's the ACE trap, but it's absolutely not. Can it be T-A-S-E? The only thing that I can think of that comes before a T is S or a vowel. So I think it's T something A-S-E. What does that? T's does that. Nice. All right. What is this word doing? It only has a U in it, maybe more than one. So it's probably like something L-U. Oh, it could be um, ending in double F. It could just be fluff. I think that's very likely, actually. Oh, no, it's not. Not even close. Well, I have one guess, and I have L-U in place. Good luck to me. We know the last two letters aren't an L. The first letter is probably not an L, because I don't know what starts with double L. I mean, I could start with PL. That might be it. I think it has to be PL. PLU. Plump. Well, it works, and it's a common word, so let's just go with it. Nice, okay. I did not fail. <laughs> this was a tough one, for sure. Dryly and plump. I guess it depends on what letters you get, and like if your start covered all the vowels. Like, dryly is actually not too bad um, if you know there's no vowels. But anyway, yeah, an interesting set of words from the Quartal today. Let's move on to the polygonal. Okay, so number 196, we are playing the daily. We have this double letter at the end of the word. We have this letter repeating, and we have this letter repeating. So that's going to be only five unique letters. I think ending in double S or double L would be the most common. Um, if we did something like this, can I complete this? It feels like something that could work. Let's make sure I have Hexpert on. I do not. Okay. Something like Nolaness or na Nailiness. Uh, it, something's not quite right. Maybe a T then. TR? No, that doesn't make sense. Or tr tr Trutus. I mean, Trueness might be a word, but not Trutus. Hmm. Okay, what if we did L? I was going to say Bluebell, but we can't use the L here if we end with double L. Something along the lines of Cone Bell? I don't know. Um, to to tone Bell? Bells have tones? Oh, that's not a word. Okay. Oh, if I, put a, if I do Bell, I have to start with B anyway. So Tone Bell wouldn't have been accepted from, by Hexpert mode anyway. A bone bell. No. This doesn't have to be an E. We could do an A, but... Oops. Could it be... W war -a wall No. Okay. What else could we end? We could end double F. We could even end in like double E as a vowel. This is surprisingly tough. I know if I do a filler, I will get a lot of information. I think I've played with it enough as well. I, I, I probably, if I spent another five minutes on this, could come up with something, but I'm not willing to spend five minutes on it. So let's look at machined here. Does this tell me what I want to know? Probably. It doesn't test uh, robustly. Maybe robustly is a good first one because it tests the double L at the end, which I, I thought was going to be more common. So let's do that. It's not double L, but there is an L. Okay. I'm going to have to do machined here. Just an S and an L. It could end in double S, though. Let's just see what machined has to say. We have four out of our five letters. So let's assume it ends in double S. Let's also assume this is an E, as I thought it would be. 
And then let's put li here. What would this do? We need this doubled up letter. Um, Fleefus. Fleefus. No, I don't like this at all. So I think the L would be the repeated letter, because it's not the I. And then, ah, lifeless. Lifeless is perfect. Okay. Well, knowing what letters to use certainly helped. I was I was looking at ESS, but I didn't think of putting less there. I did tests and wait, what did I do? I don't remember. I definitely tested uh, tested tests and nests, but I didn't test less. I think if I had tested less, it would have come to me. So yeah, just needed a little bit more time on the Hexpert, but I wasn't willing to put it in. All right. So let's move on to the Wormel. So. We will do all three Wormel modes. I feel like it's just going to end in E here. It could also end in H. So let's just do an E. Um, the problem with doing E is if it's yellow still, it only eliminates the I. Right? That's why I like to do one of the extremes, because it eliminates a lot more if it ends up yellow or gray. Um, now, if the E is gray, then you know it has to be I, but that's less likely. So, but I do think words tend to end in E, so that's why I'm willing to do this. Can I do something like mouse? No. So what's the second letter going to be? Can I do double E? I mean, I could just do double E here. I could do geese. Yep, I can do geese. All right, it does end in E, so that was fine. I'm not sure which of these letters I want to put here. Maybe a T? Can I do like A-T-E? I can. So I can't do skate. What would I do? This could be an L plate. Okay, it's not a T. And this is exactly what I was talking about. By using the T, all I, I didn't learn much about, it ended up yellow and I didn't learn much about the, the restricted range here. Um, I mean, it could be, U, I, I'll, let's try a VE word because that is at the extreme. It's probably not a Q, but the R is out of range of the V. So let's do that. Maybe I should try OVE because that's we're nice, nice and center in our unused area. Ooh, wait, but what's this? I kind of want to put a W here or an A. It might be an A. Let's look at what we could do. B, L, or Y, or would be fine. Like really, just one of those groups. It doesn't really matter what I choose to start with here. Just something that works. Could this be U, E? Doesn't feel like it. How about R? I can do carve. Nice, it was carve. Okay. Figured it out. Let's move on to the super wormel. So in this, we only get data about two away. Let's see. Let's do S, U, S, U, S. Nice. Okay, we caught, we caught two. That's great. So T is just the more logical one to use here and here if I can. Can I do like title? No, I can't. Um, that's all I can think of for title or for TIT. Um, so maybe I do have to do an R here. Tire, tired? Nice. Okay, it is TI. This is almost certainly a T. So I should have thought of a word that was T-I-T then. What's, what's it end with? E, maybe? It's not title, though. Tithe. Oh, there we go. Nice. That was actually easier than the regular. <laughs> Probably because I got lucky with this catching sus us here. All right, Super Romo Plus. This is one that's, I, I call it unfair. <laughs> it's very easy just to lose this one. So we will see how we do. I think we can do sus us. And maybe we'll catch something out. All gray. Okay, so that does, at least where the T's, or the S's were, it does tell us those aren't T's or R's, which is kind of the point. Um, so let's do something like, can I do like enemy? I sure can. Let's try that. All right, I caught the N. This is probably an O. We need a vowel. Doesn't have to be there, but feels like we should try O first. Um, 
I think the M is in a really good spot. If I can start with M O, can I do like money? I already did the Y at the end though. Can I do? I can't do month. Maybe not N then. Can I just do mommy? Nope. All right. Okay. I can't end in Y. Let's try to end in E. Um, a lot of words end in E. Worked last time. Okay. It doesn't have to be an M at the start. What are we gonna do here? I could also end in like E. I can't end in E R though. I could end in E D. How about toned? Nope, no T here. Honed. Mm. All right, I'll do honed. Let's see what happens. All right, this was an O. We didn't learn. Well, we learned some more grays. It's really just about get, getting lucky, isn't it? Um. Oh, I can't end an R. I was thinking about color here. What are we going to end with? N is pretty centralized. Can I do colon? I can do colon. All right, so we're CO. We get one more guess. Let's make it a good one. What are we going to end with? CO is actually interesting. Cobra comes to mind. Cobra works. It's a word. There's really no, no, no word's going to be any better than any other word. So let's do Cobra. Whoa, it was Cobra. <laughs> How am I getting so lucky? All right. I, I bet there were a few more words there, and Cobra was just the first I saw, so there we go. Uh, never been so happy to see a Cobra before, I guess. Let's do the daily fibble next. We're starting with tooth. All right, I think sooth is a word, and we can use that to test. Oh, but the double T really messes things up. So this says that there was an O here, and there isn't. So we know the H's are true. Well, we don't know if there is or isn't, but... These are disagreeing, is what I mean. The problem is these T's don't actually disagree with each other. That's the problem. I should have started with T, to be honest. So what we learned here is there's not two O's. We knew that already from this, both of these being gray, though. I really think I just didn't learn a whole lot. Maybe there's a T in the word. So maybe I'll do an ST word. Maybe STO even. Let's just do like stove and see what happens. Okay, it could still be an STO word. Let's do another one, like stomp. Okay, I'm starting to think there's no O in this word. These are all agreeing. Okay, there's a lie between these two. And this says there's no O. So I think we have to believe it. I think I should have seen that earlier. So this is a lie. These are all true. I bet this P is the lie. This S is probably the lie. I think that we do start with ST. We haven't proven it, but I think we do. So let's just do a, let's do, maybe I should do stamp just to see. Uh, it doesn't feel like the time to do stamp. Let's do a, a something that can actually be the answer. Like start, start could, well, no, start can't be because if this O is the lie, then that means there's only one T. It could be, it can't be stash. There's no H. How about stall? Let's try stall. All right, this is the lie, so we know it's S-T-A now. What else is there? Staying? Past tense of sting? Okay, I was going to say that was close, but honestly, this G could just be a lie. Staff? All right, that's the lie, so we know these are true. We know this T-A is true. We know this S is true. What other S-T-A words are there? Stack? Okay, that's the lie. There's a K. S-T-A-K. Uh-oh. It could be steak. We haven't... This E is probably the lie in stove. So that would... Uh, I should have realized it ended with E. But we got it. At least I didn't fail. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I've done worse. Yeah, I wasn't thinking about what the lie was with... that. <sighs> If this was all true, one of these letters had to be N. That significantly limited it. Basically to be ending in E. Okay. Well, all of these guesses were completely useless. <laughs> but we got it. Uh, I mean, it, it, what, what other options were there ending in E? Stare? I didn't even try stare, apparently. Could have been stare. I got so lucky. Could have been stare or I think a few others. Okay. Well. Wow, I'm getting lucky today, aren't I? Let's let's continue that and do the fusel. 
So we'll do the Fusel and the Blind Fusel. So we're forced to use an A here, so we can't start with our uh, stake from last game. Um, let's do Strap then. Alright, there's an R somewhere. Let's try something like... Crime. Okay, well, one of them is a lie, but still. Maybe the R is the lie? Well, if the R is the lie, then that means we have to do, like, I, R, E, M. It's probably the M that's the lie. Oh, I can't type M on this one. I think the M is the lie anyway, I, and I think that those are all yellow. So what what does that mean? R, E, something, I, like, remit. No, it can't have a T. I suppose it could be R, I, something, E. Oh, we could be an ER word. I think an ER word makes a lot more sense. So something like filer. Let's give that a try. Okay, so we're I something L-E-R? Uh, what? Ickler. Why can't I think what this word would be? Oh, idler. Idler makes sense. There we go. All right. Nice and clean solve there. Let's move on to the blind fusel. We have to repeat a letter. Idler does not repeat a letter. How about Piper? That feels, for whatever reason, similar to me. All right, there's an E somewhere. Let's find it. Um, melee is not great because we already know it's not fourth. Because this will only give us greens anyway. So I'd rather just find the E. He's probably at the end, though. What if I just did something like mouse and hope for the best? E is at the end. Okay. We don't know anything about the M-O-U-S other than they aren't exactly in these spots. We're going to have a lie now. So I could do house, and that could, that could tell me exactly what the lie is. So that might be useful. Okay, it, it didn't tell me exactly what the lie is. Unfortunate. <clears throat> well, we know there's at least one of O-U in this word. That's useful to know. I'm going to try bloke. I mean, it doesn't even tell me if the O... Actually, I would like to... I would like to have the O-U... Let's do outer. Um, we know there's no R. So maybe outed, if it'll accept that. Um, I just want to know if the O or U is the lie. Okay, the U is the lie. That's what I thought it was going to be. Okay, we're just restricted on what letters we can guess here. But I want to do... O here and E here. I think that makes the most sense. O is very limited where it can go. So, can I do... I can't do shove. I can do shown. Alright, I was right about the O, E. Okay, we just gotta get... We gotta get the consonants that are in here. So let's test the T, the L. This is one where we can't guess the word anyway. But we can guess literally anything else. Other than a real word. So let's get the F. Let's get the... What else do we want to test? C. Maybe G? Sure, why not? Those are the ones I thought of. Nothing. Okay. Well, we got to try our luck again today. There's an O and an E here. Um, I mean, it could be evoke. I don't think we tested double E at all. It's a perfectly valid word. So I just go with the, when it's the last guess, I go with the first word I thought of. Oh, nice. Okay. Maybe got lucky again, but it was evoke. All right. Cool. Well, we have one final uh, thing to do, which is the symbol. All right. This is the daily symbol, and we always start with blaze. I'm tempted to try L-E in place here. Um, there's probably plenty of things to do. How about glide? Wow. Um, it doesn't, this doesn't have to be green, but let's, I think it could be slide, so let's try it. Okay, I waited to the end because that could have just been all gray, I think. I'm not sure. I didn't analyze it enough to find out, but it was slide. Okay, maybe I, sh I should have thought of slide instead of glide. I could have had that in two. Almost never get a uh, symbol in two. I mean, that's that's tough, right? Um, but yeah, cool. Um, a nice way to uh, end the video. And if you enjoyed this content, then why not leave a like and subscribe, share it with your friends, and leave a nice comment.